When the first iPad Pro was launched in 2015, Apple wanted to prove that a tablet could truly replace a laptop. Since then, the iPad Pro has become synonymous with performance, precision, and premium design. Let's take a look at how each generation of iPad Pro has evolved. The first iPad Pro was launched in November 2015, being the largest iPad released up to that point, featuring a 12.9-inch display and also the first Apple tablet compatible with the Apple Pencil. In March 2016, Apple introduced a smaller 9.7-inch model, which brought several improvements such as True Tone Display, Retina Flash, True Tone Flash. Both versions were powered by the A9X chip with the M9 coprocessor, featuring Touch ID, a smart connector for keyboards, and four stereo speakers. The 12.9-inch model included 4 gigabytes of RAM, while the 9.7-inch version had 2 gigabytes of RAM a slightly underclocked processor, and a lower resolution. Both displays offered a density of 264 pixels per inch and a variable refresh rate. The second generation iPad Pro came in two versions, a completely new 10.5-inch model and an updated 12.9-inch version, both compatible with the first generation Apple Pencil. Inside, both models featured the new A10X Fusion chip, built on 10 nanometer architecture, offering up to 512 gigabytes of storage and a 12 megapixel main camera with quad LED True Tone flash, along with a 7 megapixel front camera with Retina flash. One of the most notable upgrades was the introduction of ProMotion technology, which brought, for the first time on an iPad, a 120 hertz refresh rate. This made scrolling Apple Pencil input and interface animations much smoother. Additionally, the True Tone display became 50% brighter and gained support for HDR10 and Dolby Vision content playback. These were also the last iPad Pro models to include the home button and the lightning connector. Want more videos like this? Then hit the new hype button and help us grow this community. It's free and it helps us a lot. Thank you. The third generation iPad Pro introduced a completely new design and major hardware changes. Apple launched two models, 11-inch and 12.9-inch, both featuring edge-to-edge -edge liquid retina displays with rounded corners, removing the home button and the headphone jack entirely. The liquid retina display delivered impressive visual quality, with tap-to-wake, true tone, and accurate color reproduction across the entire screen. The cameras were improved as well, with a 12-megapixel main sensor capable of 4K video recording and a 7-megapixel front camera with True Depth technology. Powered by the A12X Bionic chip built on 7-nanometer architecture, the new iPads offered up to 1 terabyte of internal storage and 4 or 6 gigabytes of RAM, depending on configuration. This was the first iPad with Face ID, able to unlock in any orientation, and the first iPad to feature a USB-C connector. Apple also introduced the second-generation Apple Pencil, which attached magnetically to the side of the device and charged wirelessly. The fourth-generation iPad Pro retained the design of the 2018 models, but brought notable upgrades in performance and camera technology. It was available in 11-inch and 12.9-inch versions, both powered by the A12Z Bionic chip with an octa-core GPU. The new dual-camera system included a 12-megapixel wide lens, a 10-megapixel ultra-wide lens, and a LiDAR scanner for depth measurement and augmented reality applications. Alongside the tablet, Apple launched the Magic Keyboard, featuring a trackpad, backlit keys, and a floating design, transforming the iPad Pro into a true laptop alternative. The fifth-generation iPad Pro brought a major change, being the first model powered by the Apple M1 chip, the same processor used in Mac computers, resulting in a significant leap in performance. The 12.9-inch model was the first iPad to feature a Liquid Retina XDR mini LED display with 1,000 nits of brightness, while the 11-inch version retained the classic Liquid Retina display at 600 nits. Both supported ProMotion, 120Hz, and True Tone. Both versions offered up to 2 terabytes of storage and up to 16 gigabytes of RAM. The camera system included a 12-megapixel wide main camera and a 10-megapixel ultra-wide. It also brought a more powerful LiDAR scanner and a new feature, Center Stage, which automatically keeps you in the center of the image when you move. 
For connectivity, the 2021 iPad Pro introduced Thunderbolt 3 and USB 4 support, with data transfer speeds of up to 40 gigabits per second. The 6th generation iPad Pro kept the same design and dimensions as the previous generation. It was equipped with approximately the same specifications as before, with the main novelty being the introduction of the Apple M2 chip, which is up to 15% faster. It also brought improvements of up to 40% to the neural engine for machine learning tasks. Another new feature introduced was Apple Pencil Hover, which shows on the screen the exact point where the stylus will touch, even before it makes contact with the display. Additionally, the 2022 iPad Pro added support for Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.3, and Smart HDR4. The 2024 iPad Pro introduced a refreshed design and became the thinnest Apple product ever released. Only 5.1 mm thick for the 13-inch model and 5.3 mm for the 11-inch version. It is also the first device powered by the Apple M4 chip and the first iPad to feature an OLED display. Both versions use a tandem OLED Ultra Retina XDR display with a brightness of 1,600 nits, offering excellent contrast and highly accurate color reproduction. In addition, the 1TB and 2TB models can be configured with nano-textured glass, which reduces reflections in bright light. As mentioned, under the hood lies the Apple M4 chip focused on enhanced artificial intelligence processing, featuring up to 10 CPU cores, 4 performance and 6 efficiency cores, a 10-core GPU, and 8 or 16 gigabytes of RAM, depending on configuration. The new chip also includes a 16-core neural engine, capable of performing up to 38 trillion operations per second, about 60 times faster than the first neural engine found in the A11 Bionic chip. The main camera is 12 megapixels with LiDAR and an improved True Tone flash, while the front camera has been relocated to the landscape position, making it more convenient for video calls. The iPad Pro M4 is compatible with the Apple Pencil Pro, the Apple Pencil USB-C, and the Magic Keyboard, which features a redesigned aluminum body, a larger trackpad, and an overall refined design. The 2025 iPad Pro is available in 11-inch and 13-inch versions, and although the exterior remains unchanged, this generation brings major internal improvements. More precisely, under the hood lies the new Apple M5 chip, with 9 or 10 CPU cores depending on the configuration. All versions include a 10-core GPU, offering up to 45% faster graphics than the M4, a 16-core neural engine, and hardware-accelerated ray tracing. The display remains one of the most advanced on the market, a tandem OLED Ultra Retina XDR with ProMotion 120Hz with a brightness of 1,600 nits. In addition, the high-end models can be configured with nano-textured glass to reduce reflections in bright light. The camera system is identical to that of the previous generation, but the battery has been improved, offering approximately 10 hours of use and fast charging, up to 50% in 30 minutes. Connectivity has been significantly updated. Wi-Fi 7, Bluetooth 6, thread networking support, and Thunderbolt USB 4, capable of connecting an external display at 6K 60Hz or 4K 120Hz. Of course, the iPad Pro M5 is compatible with the Apple Pencil Pro, the Apple Pencil USB-C, and the newly redesigned Magic Keyboard. From the first iPad Pro to the latest M5 generation, Apple has redefined what a tablet can do. Which one is your favorite iPad Pro so far? If you enjoyed this kind of video, make sure to subscribe to our channel, and if you give us a like and leave a comment, it really helps us out. Thank you.